Good morning. Good morning, everyone. We're going to go see monkeys today. We are in Sadakan in Sabah, and uh, right now we are in, in our resort area. It's very beautiful. It's been so long I didn't stay in the resort like this. It's full, it's very natural, and the jungle feel. Yeah, and we're going to go see orangutan monkeys and proboscis monkeys. Those are the monkeys with the really fat noses. They almost look like penises. And maybe we'll see toucans and some bears. Let's see. But we're in a very and protected area. It's time for breakfast. <laughs> All these walkways are covered because it rains a lot here. It's a rainforest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And breakfast is included. So that's what we're going to go eat. So this resort is it's quite old. I would guess 50 or 60 years old. Probably around the time this the sanctuary was created. It's quite rustic, but for that reason it's very enjoyable. Um, and they have a receptionist that helps you arrange everything. Here. And you can go see the um, proboscis monkeys. You can see the orangutans. And they have the best time to, and everything when, they're, when there's more of the animals out when they're being fed or whatever. Very nice. Chung just bought a, a bag of fish feed. She wants to feed the fish. Oh, it's beautiful, huh? Very yeah, beautiful here. Yeah. We got this fish uh, foot touring <laughs> it. It's 50 cents. Nice. Wow, this is amazing. It's very beautiful. With the lighting. Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. Very nice. I like the jungle here. So when you, re when you leave the resort, you're on this driveway. You go out the driveway and go left to the orangutan sanctuary and you go right to the Rainforest Discovery Center. And it's about a one and a half kilometers to the orangutans and a little longer, maybe two kilometers to the rainforest discovery. Look at these big leaves here. John wants to get a few photos, so we're going to do that. Isn't that beautiful? We're inside the sanctuary and they start serving breakfast to the orangutans <laughs> breakfast. I don't think there's a tablecloth. But anyway, uh, t at 10 o'clock, so we want to see that's supposed to be the best time to come here and see the most amount of orangutans. As you can see, we're not in a jungle. This is a sanctuary. They come to eat on their own. Um, and a lot of their habitat has been lost to palm oil. So think about whether or not you want to buy products with palm oil in it. That's why they've had these habitats because they've lost their places they live and there's not enough jungle anymore. You can see the rope moving there. The orangutans are on the way. They're just out in the forest enjoying life. This is a, as I say, it's a sanctuary. It's not a zoo. And the ones that are struggling because of the loss of land um, come here to eat. And they also have a hospital here to take care of them. If they get hurt. Orangutans are still hunted in the wild um, uh, for, sadly, for food. Some parts of the world eat different kinds of exotic animals because they think it somehow changes their body chemistry, which is against the law, but in some are runoff land that they're turning and they're planting more palm oil. So it'll be difficult here in Borneo for these animals to survive. So it's good to have this where if a meal is hard to come by, they can get something to eat. We were fortunate enough to witness this majestic creature in the wild. I share my video with the friends who have visited the same place during the feeding time, but have not been able to see any orangutans. Realizing how lucky we were, we appreciate the experience even more. It was a humbling reminder of the beauty and the fragility of the natural world and we left feeling grateful for the opportunity to witness such a real and incredible moment.
Well, we finished the orangutan sanctuary and we took a, a grab car over here for the proboscis monkeys. Those are the ones with the funny noses. And we have to wait a few minutes, but they're going to be right in front of us on these on these uh, platforms. Very green, huh? Very green. It's so beautiful. Cool. As a first time observer of proboscis monkey feeding time, I was amazed by the unique appearance of the animal and the way they move. However, my assignment was tempered by the realization that these monkeys are facing a significant threat due to the destruction of their natural habitat, primarily caused by the pan oil industry. Did you know that not all the monkeys love banana? Proboscis monkey can't eat banana. You know why? Anything with sugar will make the bacteria work very fast, causing the fermentation that produces too much gas in their stomach, which can make them very sick or fatal. So the part feed them with bean, cucumber, and sugar-free pinky. In the wild, they eat young mango leaf, which can be toxic to other species. It was disheartening to witness firsthand the impact of human activity on this beautiful creature and their environment. Seeing them in the park only emphasized the need for conservation effort to protect them in the wild. It was a bittersweet experience filling with wonder and appreciation, but also sadness for what this animal had lost. What do you think? Um, it's a very nice trip. I, I'm really happy we didn't skip the Sandakan. Yeah, we almost skipped it just for timing reasons. <laughs> yeah. We have so much ground to cover in Borneo, Malaysia, and uh, but I'm really happy we came too. Yeah, I see all the leaf and the plant is bigger. It's yeah. like in the Jurassic Park. It's been so long <laughs> that I didn't see those big giant leaf. It's not really big, but it's bigger than what I see in a city, you know. Yeah, it's bigger than a tea leaf, huh? Yeah. <laughs> this sun bear sanctuary has this raised walkway. So people aren't able to get down with the bears. They're not, even though they're the smallest bear in the world. They're not really safe per se, so. Oh, some bears generally afraid of humans and noise. They can send up for a train human with their excellent sense of smell and avoid them. When started, some bears alter a loud barking. Sounds like a dog bark. Oh. Yeah. Look at the tongue on this bear. <laughs> Visiting the Borneo Sun Bear Conservation Center is an experience that not only offers an opportunity to see this magnificent creature up close, but also allows visitors to support a noble cause. Sun bears are endangered due to the habitat loss and the fermentation caused by the deforestation, commercial logging, and the conversions of forests to agriculture. They also hunted for their meat, organ, and paw, which are considered delicacies in some country. It's heartwarming to see the commitment of the center to preserve this animal and ensure their survival. So this is rainforest discovery. So you have the orangutan sanctuary, the proboscis uh, monkey, sanctuary there's the um, sun bear sanctuary and this is the rainforest discovery and that's everything of elements Sipalak. and this one the rainforest discovery has a canopy walk we're going to go on mainly this is you're looking for birds and they have some marked plants and stuff but it's you're discovering the rainforest as the name implies Yes, my friends, that is a Christmas tree, and Malaysia is a place that I've personally come to know is fairly tolerant. I would say um, a lot of, some Westerners won't come here, they, they think, because 
the major religion here is Islam, that somehow it makes it an unfavorable country. But I haven't found that to be the case. I really enjoyed my time in Malaysia. Of course, I've met Chung here, but the three, three main groups are the Chinese, the Malay, and the Indians. They all seem to get along pretty well. And they even are there Christians here and other faiths. And you don't, you feel comfortable here no matter what your faith is. So I would come to Malaysia. Check it out, see what you think. There it is, RDC Rainforest Discovery. Here are the birds we're looking for. Too many to list, but lots of color. And that's the main purpose of the Rainforest Discovery. The receptionist uh, recommend us take this canopy walk. This is a pretty amazing country. Look at this canopy, it just goes on and on and on. It's still very sturdy. That's a very old tree right there. It's very nice to enjoy the nature right now. We are at here at Three o'clock, we come up from a place, our palm, our hotel, and slowly we take a grab here. It's only four ringgit, and to be here is twenty ringgit for foreigner and seven ringgit for a local Malaysian. Okay, the skinny on this place is you need a telephoto lens. There's birds flying everywhere, but the few people we've run into that have tripod with telephoto are, are getting really nice pictures of birds but for the rest of us mortals it's just a nice canopy walk you're just up in the air looking at all these beautiful the beautiful trees and uh very nice being in a rainforest definitely come in the evening it's a little cooler it can be warm in a rainforest high humidity and heat thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed this video Please don't forget to hit the like, subscribe button and comment because it really does help. Have a lovely morning, afternoon or evening time or whatever time it is for you. Take care, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!